Hello and welcome to a special Saturday edition of God's Minute. I'm Pastor Jonathan Conrad, the senior pastor at St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Wilmington, North Carolina. This special Saturday edition features the final chapter in Zechariah. It also concludes our two-week look at the prophet. Before we get to the reading, I do want to urge some caution for you as we hear and read this together, because there is a very disturbing passage, and that is near the beginning of our reading, where women are raped during war, during conflict. So I wanted to prepare you for that. But then, hear what happens. Let's get to that reading. See, a day is coming for the Lord when the plunder taken from you will be divided in your midst. I will gather all the nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken and the houses looted and the women raped. Half the city shall go into exile, and the rest of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Then the Lord will go forth and fight against those nations as when he fights on a day of battle. On that day, his feet shall stand on the Mount of Olives, which lies before Jerusalem on the east, and the Mount of Olives shall be split in two from east to west by a very wide valley, so that one half of the mount shall withdraw northward and the other half southward. And you shall flee by the valley of the Lord's mountain, for the valley between the mountains shall reach to Azal. And you shall flee as you fled from the earthquake in the days of King Uzziah of Judah. Then the Lord my God will come and all the holy ones with him. So as a fan of professional wrestling, one of my favorite angles is when the bad guys, the heels, are beating up the baby face, the hero, and the odds don't look good. And just when it looks like it's curtains for the baby face, another hero, another baby face, comes in to even the odds, and then the baby faces end up winning the day. Rinse, repeat, and you have yourself a fan. In our passage today, the enemies of Israel, the heels, are beating up Israel. And they are doing more than beating Israel. They rape, they kill, they loot, they exile. But then God makes the save. God, the true baby face, the one and only hero of this story in all our stories, makes the save. God, the divine warrior, engages in the actual fight. Picture God, the giant warrior, huge feet making valleys with his giant footprints. God is cleaning house, and with a clean house comes a new, clean beginning. Now listen to this passage. On that day there shall not be either cold or frost, and there shall be a continuous day, it is known to the Lord, not day and not night, for at evening time there shall be light. On that day living waters shall flow out from Jerusalem, half of them to the eastern sea, and half of them to the western sea, it shall continue in summer as in winter. And the Lord will become king over all the earth. On that day, the Lord will be one and his name one. The expression on that day occurs an amazing 18 times in this chapter. And that is to make sure that people know that there will be a day, a moment, a time when God makes the save. God will not let the heels win. Yes, for us, there are good times and bad times, and there are times when we hurt, we are scarred, we are injured, and we are abused. But when we are at our lowest, God sinks down to our level and sits with us, and God lays his body over us to protect us so that God can take the abuse, and we can catch our breath, and we can heal. And that is what Zechariah is getting at. After all these visions, all these promises, and all these oracles, God gives, we get. God gives us love, we get life. So what will we do with this love and life? One suggestion, be the baby face in someone's life. Be the one who makes the save when someone is hurting. And then rinse, and then repeat. And you have yourself a new fan of God a new follower of God. It's not a bad way to end a book. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you have a good rest of the weekend, and I will see you Monday for another edition of God's Minute. Take care and God bless.